Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to Netflix. Thought I would do an update on this because this little puppy here is getting ready to blow again. Funny how this was taking its good old time today, and I actually said tomorrow, I think, for Netflix, but it did get a lift here today. It did make a new high today. It's going to go straight to 450, and depending on how it does it, it may just break through it uh, immediately. But if this is getting the lift that it needs to here it, in a very strange way, though, which is funny because the gap happened here. Then this happened here. This was a perfect buying opportunity because the gap here was so good. And you could have bought the gap. Even though it didn't really go much of anywhere in the day, I knew it was a great gap. And the stop can't be under the gap because this isn't the first gap, okay? So anyways, in the meantime, perfect buying opportunity here. Market was falling, falling, falling. I kept saying, buy Netflix, buy it, buy more, buy more. And then look what it did here. Then it rested, 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 went ready for the breakout. This is really like a breakout play that happened here. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, fat, solid green bar of 20 bucks or more. Now, I thought it was going to rest today and the day before. This is kind of like a rest day for Netflix, actually, because considering the move the market made today, this really was this is really like a rest bar for Netflix here. It's crazy to say because it's ten dollars, but it didn't make the breakout move until late in the afternoon. It was around one o'clock, and then it came in hard and kept kept going a little bit. Let's see where this is post market. Four thirty three. So it, it, you know, intraday, it's it's it gets tough to buy this now as a day trade. This is a better swing trade or core trade. This is a good swing and core trade. I've been talking about this forever since last year when it first gapped, and specifically even the gap then at the beginning of this year. I do think Netflix is going to 750 this year, but you know the proper place to do this as a day trade is really only on the gaps, uh, and you could even do it. Well, yeah, I mean you can't. This would have been really tough to do today as a day trade. It was more like a breakout play at one o'clock. Well, you could have done it here with a dollar stop. Let me look at this. You could have done Netflix here today with a dollar stop. And actually it was a five hour trade because I would have been out here if I had done it. I would have never held this through here after that kind of move. But you really have to play stuff on the bigger time frame intraday if you're gonna if you're gonna go after this now. Unless you're in it for the longer term and you just take the position and you hold it to the number. And if you don't need the money right away and can hold it to the target, then that's exactly what to do. And I think it's the best way to play this. Unless you get a gap, a new gap, the day of the gap, then you day trade it. Otherwise, you just be on Netflix at least until it hits 500. And you see how it acts there, but I really think this is going to 750 this year. It's definitely, definitely, definitely should hit up by 450 to, you know, tomorrow or at least in the next week. What's tomorrow? Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This should hit 450 by the end of the week. And, and we'll see how long it takes to get to 500 then or how it acts. I think it's going to do that in another gap, actually. So this is a nice overnight, okay? If you like to do swing trades, if you like to do core trades, if you can carry something at this price point, it really will pay you. I mean, I, at 750 this will be almost double the price, really, from the original gap back here this year. I mean, that is outstanding. That's an outstanding performance. And actually, Netflix doesn't even need the market. Look the way that it acted, uh, come, you know, the way that it was so strong when the market was coming in. And we are in a bullish market overall. Even the pull in the market was still, we were still bullish. But I, I don't even think Netflix needs the market. And that's the kind of thing you really want to stock that's on its own, whether long or short. If you can get them as 100% on its own, you know, you've got a quality, solid investment and you can feel safe like you can sleep at night. Because if you are in stuff overnight, you want to be in something where you have so much conviction in it and carrying an overnight position, whether it's a $400 price point or $40 price point, that you're in the right direction, that it's good, that it's going to hold. So really, really nice. And, uh, and, and the market is going to help lift this, but it would do it on its own anyways. I mean, it really, really would. So we'll see where Netflix goes from here in the next three days. But I think 450 by the end of the week is very realistic, uh, which is only $20 away, and that's a sneeze for Netflix. It's a walk in the park. So Netflix is doing great, and there it is. Another fat green bar should happen soon here in Netflix or another gap up or a combination of both. Anything's possible. And since the gap has only had two fat green days, this day here and this day here, and it's had a nice two-week rally, so there's another big green bar coming up soon for Netflix, and it could be this week yet too.
This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you would like more information on the upcoming Golden Gap course, I am doing a class at the end of this month, February 22nd and 23rd. If you would like to sign up for that class, I suggest you pre-register ahead of time for that course. And you can email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com for more information. Uh, the cost of the course is $24.99 US dollars. And if you are interested in signing up, email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.